Man, when did I get so old looking? What the heavens to Betsy? With the glasses I let go old, but come on. Even taking them off doesn't help. Oh well, that's life. Thanks for clicking. <laughs> Welcome to my monthly video with you. And here's the thing, you know, you signed up a while back for this email thing to get from me on a consistent basis. And we did that as a weekly blog post for the last few years. I appreciate for uh, to all of those that have been reading. It's been awesome. And you are so cool for commenting. And in the last two months, we have been doing this where the blog posts go out on a monthly basis and multiple blogs are an option to read. And now we have zero comments. <laughs> so I know it's, uh, it's kind of like a no-win situation. You either have to get an email every week or you have to get an email once a month with a bunch of choices. So I thought, let's just make a video, see if anyone watches it. So we'll see. But... I appreciate you sticking around with me and especially on my journey, the route that I've been taking. The thought I wanted to leave with you today is a blog post that I actually posted a couple of weeks ago. Not sure if you saw it. If you'd rather read it, obviously you can click there and check it out on my, my blog. But the, the story is about a, a guy named Trenton Lewis. And the question I ask is, what if you had to walk every single morning to work 11 miles one way? And you had to be there at 4 a.m. every single day. Well, this Trenton Lewis, a UPS worker in Arkansas, had to do this. And he has a, an infant daughter. He's a single dad. He has to take care of this child. And, and he's doing what needs to be done, obviously. And he would walk every single day. But this isn't so much a post about keeping a promise to yourself and doing that as it is the work family. You see, I, I know we all talk about the work team, but what about the work family? That it can become a, a family if we treat each other as that important. And so in this amazing story that you may have read about uh, in the news, because it's, it's all over the place now, in every workspace there is a mama figure, right? A mother figure. And in this place, her name is Patricia Mama Pat Bryant. Now, Patricia Mama Pat Bryant heard, or, or at least discovered, that Trenton was walking every single day to work 11 miles and she said no not on my watch and so what she did is raised money among her co-workers two thousand plus dollars to purchase him a car a Saturn Ion not a brand new car but a used car a car that works and you can imagine the surprise shock and and the amazing feeling of love that Trenton felt when they revealed this to him and gave him a co-worker a new a new car for his his situation. I love this story because we all have the opportunity to make each other feel like we're important. And this is an engagement experience at the highest level. This is turning a work team into a work family. Now that doesn't mean you have to do this exact thing for anyone in your office. But how do you treat those that you work with? Are you kind? Do you see the struggles they're going through on a personal level? And it does affect their professional life. So how can you help them to have more of a family feel in the workspace? I hope you'll consider that as, our, as your message this month is looking out for the work family. And I appreciate so much your willingness to join me on my journey. And I wish you the best on yours and keeping promises to those that matter most always. Have a great week. Have a great month. See you next time. <laughs>